Good afternoon, everyone. Aloha. I am Shonda Park, your host for Money Talk, and I want to thank all of you for joining me today. June is U.S. National Home Ownership Month, which celebrates the value at the value that owning a home brings to families, neighborhoods, and communities. So today I have a special guest who, con who contributes to helping families in terms of home ownership through his company and the services that he provides through Visionary Views LLC. So I'm really excited to learn more about Visionary Views and what this company offers. So please help me welcome Tristan Malone. Hi, Tristan. Hi, Shonda. Thanks for having today? me here today. Oh, thank you for being here today. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, of course. So as Shonda said, my name is Tristan Malone. I am actually the executive marketing director, one of the co-founders and co-owners of Visionary Views LLC, operating here in Hawaii. I grew up here on Oahu, on the west side, between Waipahu and Eva. Went to Waipahu High School, go Marauders, class of 2010. Uh, <laughs> also, I am the youngest of five siblings. I have 50 cousins on my mom's side of the family. I also have 10 or actually 15 cousins on my dad's side of the family. So I do come from a huge family. Another thing that I want- 65 cousins? Yeah, <laughs> wow. yeah, exactly. There's a lot. Um, <laughs> another thing that I want to share too is that I think the way that people would describe me is someone who's very involved in the community. So the way that I would answer that is actually, I've been involved with the Lions Club of Honolulu for pretty much my whole life. My father was a member of the club and now I'm a member. I've actually served on the board for a few years. Mm -hmm. I also have served as a, or currently still am a volunteer music promoter for Meta Group, also known as Audiophile. We have our shows at Hawaiian Brian's. Uh, another thing that I do is actually through our Visionary Views business, I hold the media services seat in BNI. Currently in my own chapter, which is the Mana chapter, I serve as the president and we meet every Wednesday at 7 a.m. What is BNI? So BNI is a networking group where we intentionally help people get referrals and get them started on their business. Oh, okay. So BNI, Alliance Club, and what was the last one? So Meta Group or Audiophile Entertainment. Oh, okay. Wow, wonderful. So you are in, involved in a lot here on the island. I am, yes. Okay. And so we want to learn a little bit more about Visionary Views. So what, how did Visionary Views play a role in sight unseen purchases of homes here in Hawaii? Okay. Sure. So to kind of backtrack a little bit, Visionary Views LLC actually started in August of 2020 in the mm -hmm. thick of the pandemic. And this was because we saw that there were a lot of changes happening, not only in all industries, but specifically within the real estate industry. There were a lot of restrictions that were happening during that time. Not a lot of people could go inside of an open house or mm -hmm. there were limited numbers. And the way that we actually contributed was that we started this media services uh, business to help realtors with photography, video, drone, uh, since we're licensed to operate it through the FAA. Mm -hmm. We also do virtual staging and 3D Matterport tours. And what we do is we provide media content for realtors to list not only on their MLS, but also on social media so that way they can share with people around the world. Wow, that's amazing services. And I clearly remember the shutdown in 2020 because I was still working as a dental hygienist at that time. And I remember my boss coming into my operatory when I was done with my last patient. And he said, I'm sorry, Shonda, dental hygienists are deemed non-essential. So you're not allowed to come back tomorrow until further notice. And so I remember the shutdown, or at least for us, dental, dental hygienists weren't allowed to go back to work for about two months. And so it was maybe early or mid-March. Um, and then 
I believe he asked me to come back mid-May and then I didn't go back to the ending of June. And during this time, I actually was searching to become a homeowner again. And, um, and so the services that you provided, I, I wish it was there for me because my realtor asked me when there were about five properties that I wanted to look at. So he told me to drive to each one, look at the neighborhood, the community, and if I see myself living there, then call him so that I, can, I could actually view the home. So I had to drive around to all these properties to look at it myself. And so with what Visionary View provides, um, even though it was after the shutdown, I know that there were still a lot of restrictions. So can you share about the restrictions and how you were able to help people, you know, save time, save money, save on gas and all of that through your services? Yeah, absolutely. So as we were talking about earlier, there were a lot of restrictions during the first part of the pandemic. And some ways that we actually helped were one through our drone services. Mm -hmm. We are able to get aerial views and just imagine not having to go out into a neighborhood, but being able to sit at your computer, look at your phone, and just kind of get an idea of what a neighborhood looks like without actually being there. Yeah, and I wish I had that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, another thing that we have done as well is with uh, the three Matterport tours too. So imagine not having to go to the house, right? This would yeah. probably be the next best thing to going into a home and you get a 3D view of what it looks like in real time, really. That's really amazing. So can you expand on some of the latest technology that you've used for real estate media? Sure, absolutely. So with our 3D Matterport tours, we actually use the Matterport platform. We also mm -hmm. use a Matterport camera to create the digital twin. Uh, in the left-hand corner of the picture that's shared on the screen, we have a drone. We use the Mavic Air 2. And also with our photos, we use Canon products and we create HDR or high dynamic range photos. So to kind of explain a little bit about high dynamic range and what it is. So we take three to five to seven of the same shots in different settings of light. So from darkest to lightest, we combine them together and then make them as crisp as detailed as possible through editing. Wow, that's beautiful. Amazing. and. Um... So share a little bit about the technology and about virtual staging. Okay, sure. So virtual staging is actually, what we do is we take the photos or even some people provide the photos to us mm -hmm. and all of, the, all of the furniture is actually augmented reality. So if you kind of look in my background here, a lot of that or all of that's, all of that is actually virtually staged. So you can wow. have a blank can canvas and do what you want with it. So you designed your virtual background right there? We did, yes. Oh, awesome. Okay, and so how does Visionary Views help our community and help people become homeowners with your virtual staging and other services? Okay. Sure. So aside from all the services that we noted, uh, one thing that we really did help with was uns site unseen sales. So mm -hmm. what that means is that people, they didn't actually have to go to the property to buy the homes. One example that I can really think of was a home that we actually shot out in Wahiawa and the guy wasn't even here. So he pcs over and yeah, I mean, he didn't even have to step foot on a wall. He didn't even have to step foot on a plane until he got ready to move here. Aside from the real estate stuff that we do, uh, as a slide was shared earlier with that sunflower field, so we have created 3D immersive educational experiences for uh, one of the largest agri-science companies in the world, Cortiva Farms. So they have a field out in Wailua, and what we did was we created this video because people were limited to going onto the farm 
during the pandemic, during the first part of the pandemic. So they wanted to create that experience. And that was our Malama to Hawaii and of course the world as well. Uh, currently we're working with a 501c3 company that focuses on promoting the Evomoku. And basically we're creating the same thing for them as well, a 3D immersive educational experience. That's incredible, Tristan. And you're not just on Oahu, correct? Yes, that's correct. So aside from Oahu, we do have a team up in Vegas. And the cool thing is that all of our team members that are in different areas, they all have Hawaii connections. We also have someone in Texas, specifically the Woodlands in Houston. We also started not too long ago up in Northern California, San Joaquin County. Awesome. So you've quickly expanded. You said that you started this company in August 2020? That's correct. Yes. And you've expanded already to other parts of the United States? Yes. Yes. And are you, are you the sole owner of this company? No, I'm not. So aside from myself, I have two other partners. Jerome Madonna Jr., who is the CEO and visionary of Visionary Views. We also have our COO, uh, Chris Batoon, who works as the integrator and someone who puts in systems for our company. So I work with those two guys and they're awesome to work with. And what is your title? What, what is your role and your title in the, in the company? So again, I am the executive marketing director and one of the co-founders of Visionary Views. Okay, awesome. Um, I want to talk about the start of your company. And um, I know that you said you started in August, 2020 again. And how was it financially in you and your business owners, uh, your business partners coming together to start this business? Okay. So I would say that we definitely started in the negative. We had to invest a lot of money. We had to invest a lot of time to get the equipment going. We had to invest a lot of time to really network ourselves and get to know people within the community and the, um, and the industry as well. Mm -hmm. But also a another thing I wanna share too is um, the time that we learned all these different things that we provide now, it wasn't something that came overnight. It was something that we put a lot of effort into a lot of sweat, tears, blood, li literally and figuratively. And <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Oh, no, I, I know you are. Yeah, <laughs> share, share about some of your early experiences and the things that you, you had to do, you, Jerome, and Chris. Okay, sure. So, of course, because we didn't have that book of business, we had to give some free stuff. We had to do free work for some time. We've given discounted work. Um, some of the things that we also did was go out into the open houses every Sunday where mm -hmm. we introduced ourselves to realtors and really got to know them, not only build our book of business, but build our relationships as well with them. And one thing that the team did was uh, make a decision to throw me in BNI, or not throw me, but place me <laughs> in BNI. In BNI. And, <laughs> this actually really helped us get some business and build some relationships. And I am forever grateful for the guys for making the decision, both uh, Jerome and Chris, because it's really helped me not only on a professional level, but a personal level as well. Beautiful. So about how long, just give an estimate about how long your uh, how long it took for your company to actually start producing some or generating some income? Hmm. It definitely took a few months. I want to say maybe six or seven, where we six really started. To see, yeah, maybe start to really see money coming in. Yeah, and of course, we're still investing in our own business and ourselves as well as we go along. Okay. And, you know, I talk about on Money Talks, I talk about going from zero to millions. So you started and you, you said that you didn't just start in a zero, you started off in a negative. 
because right. you and your business partners, of course, had to invest into this company and sacrifice some months working for free, right? Before you started even generating. So you, you were in the negative for some time. And from zero to millions, do you see your company, Visionary Views LLC, becoming a million dollar company or a multi million dollar company? Definitely. So the way, the reason why I say definitely is because of the growth that we've went through. So aside from all of the business that we've gotten through BNI and our own efforts through marketing ourselves, um, a number of things that we've done too was with the virtual staging is yeah. we created a platform on our own website where people not only in Hawaii and throughout the United States, but throughout the world can use our services. We don't even have to be there to take the photos, but if they send the photos to us, and we'll go ahead and edit them, give it the VV touch, then yeah, that's one way that we can expand. Also, another thing is aside from the different locations that we've expanded to as well, and the different services, uh, we are looking into franchising our business in the near future. And also, um, I think another thing too is, <clears throat> really learning about the different technologies that are out there and then starting to implement them as well. So let me just clarify, not just in the United States, but anyone anywhere in the world is able to utilize your services through Visionary Views. Yes, yes. Wow. So they would just have to contact you, uh, let you know where their property is, send you some pictures and you you're able to um, provide your services to their realtor so that people can view their their property. Yes. Okay. And the person that you said um, said earlier was from Vegas mm -hmm. that bought a property here in Hawaii without even having to fly here. Oh, so that person actually wasn't from Vegas. I don't remember exactly where they were coming from, but they were mm -hmm. PCSing out here through the military. Oh, and okay. yeah, that, that's it's crazy because they didn't even have to come to Oahu before they bought the house. Right. They didn't have to fly to Oahu to come here and look at the properties. They were able to just utilize your services, see the property that they wanted and, and just purchase it before even coming here and moving here. Yeah, exactly. That's really amazing that you're able to provide these services for families and, and just make it so much easier for people through your business and through technology. And also, um, I heard that you've been featured in some magazines? We have actually. So we've actually been featured in two magazines just within the past year. So we've been featured in Home and Remodeling and Home and Lands. But also, some of our work has actually been featured on the local news. So the Cortiva Farms 3D tour was featured on Hawaii News Now. Uh, we've also had some of the properties we've shot featured on KHON. And we've also been named a virtual staging expert by Redfin. And this was all thanks to our COO, Chris Bertoon, who actually did an interview with them. They put it on their blog. and. Yeah, I mean, that's really cool. We, if you look at the slide here uh, that was up earlier, you'll see the article itself as well as a, um, a QR code so that way you can view it too. Wow, some really amazing things have happened in such a short time. Oh. And uh, you've really gotten yourself out there, promoted yourself. Uh, you know, I, I think, um, you're going to expand very quickly. You've already have. And tell us a little bit more about your connection to the Philcom Center. Oh, yes. So not the Philcom Center, but the Filipino Chamber of Commerce. Oh, Filipino uh, Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Me. So Jerome is actually a member of the Commerce. And not too long ago, a few months ago, he was nominated to or he was a nominee for the Entrepreneur of the Year. So that was a great accolade for himself as well as our company too. 
So this is uh, Jerome Adarna Jr., our CEO. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So talking about you, Tristan, and your business partners, Jerome and Chris, how how do you uh, feel about uh, entrepreneurship? And is there any advice that you have for other young people that are looking to uh, create a company and be a business owner? Mm -hmm. So about entrepreneurship, if you want the freedom of being your own boss, but also putting in the work, I suggest looking into it, look into the business that you want to do, do your research, do a lot of research. And another thing that I want to say too, is actually some advice that I got from both you and Rayanne Shonda was don't try, just do. And just that has really helped me um, become into the person that I really am today. Good, I'm glad. And I am so happy for you and happy for your success. And it's really about helping families and helping the community. So how do you feel to be a huge part of families being able to achieve their dreams? So I've always actually wanted to get into the real estate industry. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I thought I was going to become a realtor, which is something that might come up in the future as a licensed agent. And that was because someone helped us along the way with purchasing a home. And just the patience and kindness that we experienced from this person, uh, I am just eternally grateful for that. And also being just a small part of the process or not even a small part, being a part of the process. It gives us a good feeling of, hey, we help someone sell a home. We've helped people get into a home. We've helped someone achieve their dream. It's a great feeling. Yes, I can imagine. And I thank you for being in the community and providing your services and helping people achieve their dreams. I, I know it's a, it's a wonderful feeling to help families. And I know that not only are you helping families to become homeowners, but you're also gonna be helping people uh, with your franchise to actually become a business owner uh, themselves. So you're gonna be uh, helping people to become successful and actually be able to mentor them and have them open up their own visionary views. And uh, wh where do you see yourself in five years from now with the expansion of your company and franchising? Hopefully on a secluded island. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, actually, I really see our team being able to go out to different areas to help people achieve their own dreams and being able to travel around, uh, open up these different locations, but also having the freedom to go to and from Hawaii. So I, I might go between places when, when the time comes in our different locations. Awesome, awesome. Uh, do you wanna share anything else, uh, anything that we didn't go over about your products and services with your company? I think that pretty much covers it. Um, one thing that I also do wanna say to people that want to start being an entrepreneur or even just people in general, look out and help the community. Just do your best to be a part of the community because you're not, you don't know the people that you're going to connect with and how they're going to help you along and how you can help someone along. And being a part of the community and making those connections is something that was um, instilled in me at a very young age and that I encourage everyone to do. Thank you. That's great advice. And again, I know that you are involved um, in a lot of companies and promotions and um, com uh, businesses like the BNI, the Lions Club. Can you share a little bit more about that? And just about the Lions Club and, and what kind of community service work that you do okay. uh, with the Lions Club? Sure, so with the Lions Club, our Lions Clubs International, our slogan is we serve. And 
basically we've done a lot of different things in the community. One of the things that the international clubs really focus on is being nights for the blind. Now, what that means is we go out and we do eye tests. So vision tests, as well as collect glasses, contacts, uh, we clean them up and we send them to places that might not necessarily have all the resources to have these glasses. So that mm -hmm. would um, help people with their vision. Wow, that's beautiful. Uh, that's wonderful work. And being involved in such a young age, do you feel that uh, giving back to the community, being involved with the community has helped you with your Visionary Views LLC business? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think it was just because of um, my, my own personality. I'm actually really outgoing. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely helped me really network myself in the and have a focus really yes awesome well Tristan I want to thank you once again for being on and just sharing about yourself um sharing about your company again visionary views LLC with June being U.S. National Home Ownership Month and just sharing about how you've been helping families and and just again from August 2020, in the middle of the pandemic, shortly after everything shut down and things being still very restricted uh, at that time, and how you were able to help many families through your company and your services for people to be able to view uh, property and be able to purchase property because um, you know they were able to just be able to view it in the comfort of their own home and not have to drive out during the times when you know things were shut down and restricted. So I thank you for that. Anything else that you want to say to the viewers? Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for listening, taking the time to make space for both myself and Shonda, really. All right, wonderful. Thank you again, Tristan, for being on. I will see all of you back again for more of Money Talks on Monday, June 27 at 3 p.m. Mahalo. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.